27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Yeah, it's brutal out there. The combination of higher pressure off to the south and east of us, a cold front to our northwest, helping pull all of this heat and moisture into southern Wisconsin over the last 24 hours, forcing all that uh, summer-like heat from parts of the southern and southeastern quarters of the country right into southern Wisconsin. And yes, in addition to the heat, we also have all that humidity, thanks in part to that corn sweat that Alexis was just talking about. We have a ton of humidity in the atmosphere, and that has prompted the National Weather Service to not only keep tonight's excessive heat warning in effect through 8 o'clock, but issue another in effect by 11 o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow morning, lasting through 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. So yes, it is brutally hot out there. No matter where you are, no matter where you're looking, if you're watching this, it's toasty. Right now, that sun is shining. And yes, there are some folks out on the water. Most of us do not have that opportunity to be out and about in the water right now. So what do we do? Well, temperatures right now are about as hot as they've gotten all year. We topped out at 94 degrees on June 17th. That was the last time we saw temperatures as hot as this, topping out today 93. Worse yet, we have all of that humidity in the atmosphere. 76 in Madison. We like to see these numbers closer to the 40s or 50s, meaning Far less humid, more arid air hanging out around the area. We don't have that today. A ton of humidity. Dew point values near 80 degrees out towards Platteville as well as Mineral Point. That's downright tropical air. As a result, feels like temperatures have skyrocketed. Many of us feel as hot as 105 degrees plus. It's 105 with the heat index in Madison. Feels like 109 in Lone Rock. Platteville feeling like 108 degrees. La Crosse feeling like 110 right now. So over the next several hours, a couple things to keep in mind. Reduce your time outside. Seek that air conditioning as much as possible. If you do have to be out and about, a lot of water, folks. Stay hydrated, stay safe, dress with light clothing. Even though that sun is setting, temperatures are still going to be the mid to upper 80s. Feels like temperatures by 8, 9, 10 o'clock could still be well above 90 degrees. This is not the type of heat you want to mess around with. If you do not have air conditioning, find some friends, find some families, find a shelter uh, that will allow you to use that air conditioning because overnight low temperatures are only expected to dip as low as the mid 70s. And again, with all that humidity in the atmosphere, we're looking at little to no relief from this heat even during the overnight hours. Now, yes, we will stay dry. We're still expected to stay quiet. Showers and storms firing up to the north of us over the next several hours will give way to a threat of severe weather across parts of uh, northern Wisconsin as well as Minnesota. But here at home, we stay dry with an overnight low temperature again of just 76 degrees. Our average high temperature this time of the year is 79 degrees. So it gives you an idea of where we're headed temperature wise. 78 degrees right around 8 o'clock in the morning, 84 by 10. Uh, right around the time noon rolls around, we're seeing temperatures already 10 degrees above average as showers and storms fire up to the west of us. Now, anytime we see any shower and thunderstorm activity tomorrow, uh, we could be dealing with the threat of severe weather with the presence of so much heat and humidity. And as a result, the Storm Prediction Center placing the entirety of the region under a two on the threat index. That slight risk of severe weather noon to 8 p.m. Seeing that damaging wind large hail threat, isolated tornadic threat, not out of the realm of possibility for your Tuesday. So things could be a little bit bumpy for our Tuesday. As for our Wednesday, 86 your high temperature, a little bit cooler. Down to 84 Thursday with some additional chances of showers and storms. But looking at Friday, 82, 83, Saturday, 79 degrees by Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some big events. Mm. Friday, we kick off that season at Camp Randall. Yeah. Uh, we got the taste on Saturday and Sunday, and conditions for all of those as of right Good. now look perfect. Perfect. Yep. Big weekend. Yeah, thanks, right. Cam. Thanks, Cam.